so exciting. And So basically, I leave for New York Fashion Week in 48 hours. If you know me or you've watched my previous videos, you probably know how excited I am to make a video like this. That is taking you guys along all of my preparations, my glow up, packing, packing tips, everything like that. I feel like it doesn't even feel real that I'm saying this because I actually only found out that I was going to go to New York Fashion Week about two weeks ago. And now I'm just so grateful that I'm even making this video. I'm basically going with my friend Fernanda and this is my third fashion week. We've actually gone together all three times. This will be the February Fashion Week, so it will be very cold. I'm like September but I love New York City so much and I'm so excited to take you along the full experience and I think I'm gonna have a permanent smile all day because I'm literally just so excited and I can't believe that I'm leaving tomorrow. My flight is at 11 55 p.m. on Monday night and today's Sunday morning so it's coming up very quick and I've basically mapped out the next 48 hours of everything I need to do to feel fully prepared. So yeah we're gonna go a lot more in depth in this video but I'm so excited to take you along but I need to hit up my beauty appointments because my nails are so grown out and we're definitely gonna be taking a lot of photos and things like that and vlogging the trip so let's get these nails filled and also a pedicure so yeah make sure to subscribe if you haven't already that way you can keep up with my upcoming travel videos and new york videos which is literally my favorite city so yeah let's head over to my nail appointment it's been so long you've been so tough you kept it up you've kept me up been standing tall keeping strong Hello you guys, so I just got to my appointment at Lux and I'm so excited. I'm gonna be getting a facial done. I think I'm getting a hydrofacial, which is what I've gotten in the past. And it's literally my favorite thing ever. It makes my skin feel so good for like weeks after and gets all the gunk out of it. So I'm really excited to show you guys. I've done this the last couple of times right before I traveled and I feel like my skin normally does break out a lot when I do travel, like being in the airplane and also in a new environment. So I love taking care of it and taking that extra step. So yeah, it's time to do my facial. Someone. We had such a good day today. We did some planning. We got our money and your stuff. We did some shopping. We didn't buy anything though. We, we were just browsing. Yeah. We don't want to overpack, which is a mistake that we made in the past. So we're just kind of focused on like what we already have. But mm -hmm. we basically went to Mine and Yours. We literally love Mine and Yours. They're a luxury yeah. consignment store in Vancouver. And they have the most beautiful items. Literally the perfect time for Fashion Week. So we got a couple of things. So we're going to give you a big haul, haul of the things that we're going to yeah. bring to New York. I also purchased something, but mm -hmm. it's in my bag. Our bag actually broke. It literally broke when we were shopping. Yeah. And it was so like we were paranoid paranoid as yeah. heck that it was all just gonna fall out on us. Um, we're gonna take some photos with it and then we have to bring it back. Our also would be a very crazy haul. This but would be an expensive haul. Yeah, but they're so nice and they always let us come in. First one, I'm so excited for this. I actually just got a pair of gold heels. Yeah. So, ooh, it is a gold YSL little bag here, but this is super cute. I feel like this is going to be, it's gonna hold all my essentials. And whether I wear this with a black dress or something, I think it's gonna look so awesome. And it's like really shiny depending on if the it's light's It's so on pretty. Ooh. I ended up picking up a Lady Dior bag and I borrowed so a bag from them like this in the past. I'm literally obsessed with them, but it is like this light pink color. It just looks so cute. Yeah. The second bag that I got is very chill, but I think I'm probably gonna style bag. this as like a day outfit. Yeah. But I think it's super simple, it's cute. I would totally like want to have one of these honestly yeah. for the end of the day. I can definitely wear this with a lot of items mm -hmm. and it's so nice. Oh my gosh, but it's a that one's really cute Chanel bag and it's so pretty. It's also I, silver. I love this. It says Chanel on the top. Yeah, um, okay. I'm not sure if this is mine or yours. Mine and yours. <laughs> but I got these. These are oh, Dior are so earrings. Cute. They are like gold hearts. So I think this could be really good for the gold outfit as yeah. well. Okay, wow. this first coat okay. is intense. So fun though. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, I think you can see it, but it's like super fluffy. Yeah. There, there's like a bow in the middle. Um, Especially in New York, it's gonna be so cold. Last year when we went, it was like freezing. negative 10 degrees and so cold, jackets. but I think it's gonna be a little bit better weather this year. And then I also got this top, which I'm actually obsessed so with, but it's this Chanel top, which I like that's really fun, but definitely like a really fun fashion week outfit. Yeah. It is just this um, like white t-shirt yeah. and it says J'adore 8 and this is uh, from Christian Dior. Yeah. Like if I had my extensions, my makeup done. Do you have red heels or like colored heels? I feel like even if you did like blue jeans, oh, colored yeah. heels. I'm excited. No, we yeah. have so much planned and we have so much to do. So excited. It's going to yeah. be so fun. We're going to vlog a lot. We have a yeah. lot to film. We're getting the high vibes up so yeah. that when we're there, it's just lucky girl syndrome all, all, all day for all week. a week. Literally. All week, all day. Yeah. It's kind of like mentally preparing yourself mm -hmm. to like be in that environment. Because mm -hmm. that can shake you up. We've kind of had that. Like We've, we've had, had a that. moment. We've had a moment. We've had a moment where we've, we've been like, you know, we come in super peaceful and then we had like, oh, curveball. Yay. Yay. See y'all there. <laughs> Hello, good morning. So it is actually the morning of the day that I leave for New York for fashion week. I've had like full on butterflies in my stomach all morning because yes, number one, I'm so excited to go to New York, but I also have so much stuff to get done today. And this is kind of like the day that I have dedicated to packing and all that stuff that comes with traveling. And then of course going to the airport tonight. So I just started off my morning by finishing up any work that I had left for the week. I had a couple of orders to make for hold tight. And now I'm at the stage where I've done my skincare. I also ate some breakfast and now now I'm ready to actually really get down to business and prep for fashion week. Just to show you guys, it's a little bit messy, but here's kind of what I'm looking at and a lot of the things that I've already started prepping. I've started planning outfits, different things that I know I need to bring or make an outfit with, and I have no clue how it's all gonna fit in one suitcase because this is definitely not everything that I need to bring. Basically why I'm so excited about this particular fashion week is because I have been to New York two other times during the weeks of fashion week in hopes of attending something, and I have actually been able to go to a couple of events, which have been such amazing experiences that I'm so grateful for. We are actually going to a lot of events and we almost have a full schedule, which I can't even believe. Like I can't even imagine what that's like because I've genuinely dreamed of doing that for so long and now it's kind of happening. So I am trying to be very particular with my outfits, really plan strategically based on what events we have. But before every travel, I try and do a really quick trip to Walmart and that is to get any travel necessities. So we're going to go do that before we actually pack our bags and continue our day. Just for reference, it is 1230 right now and I have to leave for the airport at eight o'clock. I also have an appointment that's like 30 minutes away. So I definitely do have a lot of time and my laundry's going. But yeah, I'm gonna get going, start this pretty crazy day, and take you along. one last quick appointment that I need to go to and that is a spray tan which I feel like photographs really nicely so I'm actually so excited to go so I have a big sweatsuit on with the dark color so then it doesn't get stained I'm going to a place called Coco Tanning Studios it's located in Yaletown Vancouver and I love the results of other people that have gone here so I'm really excited so I'm gonna get going before I'm late to this appointment I'm gonna get to packing as soon as I get back because I'm now down to a time crunch so I'll take you guys through my whole experience <music> Now, but I did just finish up my spray tan. I have a feeling that it's gonna be very glowy. Okay, I don't think you guys understand my relief right now. Basically, I ordered a package from Revolve about a week ago and usually Revolve packages come really fast. So I had all my outfits for fashion week planned from Revolve. Not all of them, but I would say at least like 10 pieces, which is a lot of clothing. And it was supposed to arrive on Thursday. Today's Monday. It basically didn't get here Thursday or Friday and it is 6.30 p.m. right now on Monday and I leave at 8.30 and I've low-key been freaking out all day. But you guys, I've never been happier to see the FedEx truck pull up to my house and drop off my Revolve package at my door two hours before I have to leave leave to the airport so we have all my pieces in here that i'm literally so excited about i took so long picking these out and i just feel like i can relax now and pack my stuff anyways my current situation is basically extremely messy this is my situation basically everything is scattered it looks like it's not organized but i promise you everything's in like specific piles what i started doing was making outfits and trying them on and then taking a photo of them so i have a little photo album on my phone and you guys can see and it's just pieces that i know i want to wear together and the thing i've learned with packing is planning out your outfits is the best way to pack and 
planning them if you're really wanting to save space and not just throwing a bunch of stuff you like into the suitcase not even knowing if it goes together if you have an occasion for it so i've really been trying to plan on my outfits for this trip goal number one is for my suitcase not to be overweight while still bringing enough jackets and everything that i need for the cold weather in new york and goal number two was receiving my revolve package which was kind of out of my control but that did happen so the new goal number two it's 6 45 right now i need to be ready for 8 30 to get out of the door to go to the airport so i basically need to start packing putting everything together making sure i'm packing outfits and not just throwing random things into my suitcase so that takes a little bit longer let's start packing and we will be heading to new york so quick airport outfit i'm just gonna show you what i'm wearing it's super simple but it's so comfortable i feel like i wear something like this every time i go to the airport i decided to layer because i'm landing somewhere really cold and the airplane is always so cold as well i'm wearing this black long sleeve and then a black oversized hoodie on top okay i don't know if you can see this but you guys will see it more in the airport i'm wearing my platform converse and these wide leg sweat pants so that's my outfit really comfortable i'm just wearing my backpack but i'll show you guys more of what we're wearing and just more the vibe when i get there because i'm actually starting to run a little bit late so let's go to the airport i'm I'm literally so excited the airport's one of my favorite places i've said that in videos before but it's literally like my happy place so There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in Hello, we are in New York City and we arrived this morning, which is just insane. Like I actually feel like we're dreaming because we had a red eye last night. Fernanda was sleeping with her eye mask I on. I was sleeping away with no like concern of waking up. I was like, I'm out. We had no layover. So we had a direct flight from Vancouver, which actually felt so fast. Mm -hmm. But since it was in the night, we just kind of had a little bit of weird sleeps, barely yeah. any sleep. I'm so excited to be here. We are so excited to be here. You guys are gonna have like such a good time watching these vlogs. I'm so excited. So we are feeling a little bit tired right now. Yeah, we have a Celsius. We've been drinking tea all morning yeah. i had a green tea and this is a turmeric tea did you try it yet that one's really good. It's good, right? This one's actually yeah. like good. The other one's just okay. like beneficial. So we're doing all of our self-care things before we get the day started, or I guess the night started because it is around, it's three o'clock right now. We have to actually leave the apartment at four o'clock. So yeah, we we ha have we're kind of in a rush now. Yeah, my hair's wet. Yeah, at least your hair's done. Yeah. That, this is going to take a little bit of time. We got strawberry guava. Guava! In Canada, we don't actually have Celsius. They literally cost $9 and here they cost two fifty. Cheers! Woo! I don't know, we need some because I actually slept two hours and I'm scared because we have a couple of events tonight, but we're pushing through it. I feel like a little bit earlier we felt super tired and now we're just in a phase where I feel slightly delusional. Slightly less tired. You know yeah. what we actually did? We meditated, yeah. we danced out, we did some affirmations yeah. and we got all the bad negative vibes away from us because yeah. we cannot have negative vibes while we're here. We have to be on high vibrations at mm -hmm. all times. We get ready. Okay, we're gonna get ready. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. You always let me know 